Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Bob here. Uh, this is a, an update video for the Shadow Knight actually, but I've actually come over to, um, uh, I've come over to East Commons with Mugwort, because I've, I've come over to buy a circlet of Shadow essentially, uh, for the, um, for my Shadow Knight. Uh, kind of, I'm kind of going to get one anyway, because I know that the sort of price is, is changing, going up, uh, etc. for it. Uh, I'm buying from Ogre Mart, which I <laughs> never have. I'm super confident in anything with the name Mart in it, but there you go. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've, I've just bought a circle of shadow. Essentially, I was kind of thinking about doing it anyway because of um, uh, I think just because of because it changes, you know, when uh, um, let's just say thanks. It, when uh, when Velis is released, it sort of it changes. It becomes not as good. I think the um, I think the invisibility that the Gather Shadows uh, spell it's not instant. Uh, as it is at the moment, so yeah, I, I was just I just thought I was going to pick one up anyway. But seeing as I'm kind of playing with Shadow Knight and having a lot of fun, uh, I thought I would uh, pick one up for him, basically. Uh, but if but you know but but if, if the Shadow Knight doesn't go anywhere, it's kind of something that I think it'd be quite easy to hold on to, basically. Um, I've got I've got a Necromancer on the go as well, and it's just one of those things where I think it's nice to have. You know, I think it's one of those things, one of those items where it, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna change. It's gonna become a lot worse than it is so I think yeah I think it's probably a good idea what I'll do now is I'll switch back over to the Shadow Knight and you can uh, see how I'm getting on hello guys welcome oh, oh sorry <laughs> I just I started to talk there a big yawn came on I didn't sleep very well last night I believe, I've, I believe it or not I've got um, I've got gout um, I don't know if you get. I was just going to say, I don't know if you get gout in the US uh, or Canada over that sort of side of the, of the pond. I'm sure you must get gout everywhere. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just called something else. But yeah, it's kind of like a. Um, I started to get it about two or three years ago. Uh, I don't know if sort of talk about this kind of thing generally, <laughs> but it just kind of come up and I, and I was and I yawned and I realised I was tired and I kind of remembered why I was tired. But I it kind of started about two or three years ago. Um, just after I turned 40 actually I think all these things kind of happen when you turn 40 or, or that's kind of I think that's the myth anyway but yeah I'm for anyone who's not 40 yet I'm here to tell you that yeah it, it certainly does I mean I do quite a lot of uh, weight training sort of three times a week and as soon as I turned 40 sort of recovering before the next session yeah was was much harder I kind of do that thing now where the old people do where you, you bend over something and as you're getting up you go oh like that you know <laughs> <laughs> even if I don't, even if it's not a twinge or an ache, I think it's just something that happens when you, yeah, when you when you when you turn forty. But I've, I've had gout, which basically is is kind of like a, um, it's like a swelling on a joint. Uh, it's caused by your body creating too much of a certain sort of acid, and crystals kind of form on the joint. And it always happens to me. It always happens on the same one, or ninety nine percent of the time. Um, I'm talking like it, it happens all the time. It doesn't. It kind of happened two or three years ago, and then I got some medication. And it and it kind of it's, it's kind of been gone, you know, for 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 a long time. But recently, I've kind of been getting like little twinges, and and so sort of last couple of days, I've had it kind of reasonably bad again. But yeah, it's just like an inflammation on on a joint uh, on my toe. But it's pretty pretty hardcore, you know. It's I mean it's I mean when it's bad, I, I can't actually walk on the foot at all. Can't put the foot down. Um, back in the day, on the old uh, uh, in sort of ye olde England. Uh, a couple of hundred years ago, I suppose it was. Um, it was called. I think it was called a rich man's disease um, because it was. Sort of, I think they put it down to sort of rich food and, and alcohol, essentially. <laughs> so it was. It was your. Yeah, it was your, your Tory landowners that, that tended tended to get it back in the day, but, <laughs> which I'm obviously not one of those. And the doctor kind of debunked that a bit and said, "Well, was, you know, not necessarily." So yeah, um, yeah, but that's why I'm I'm yawning. I don't know why, why that I felt the need to say that, but I did. There you go. Um, but I'm certainly, I mean, from a food point of view, I kind of think I'm I'm pretty good, really. I don't, I don't eat a lot. Of, I don't eat much processed crap at all, really. But I, I don't eat a lot of fruit, fruit and veg. I have to say, but at the same time, I don't, I don't eat a lot of uh, processed stuff. I'm kind of partial to the odd, um, uh, partial to the odd. What should we say? Kind of bit of fast food every now and again. I, I don't mind the McDonald's and stuff and bit of KFC, Burger King, that kind of thing. But they're not so they're not so bad over here, are are they, I don't think, as 
as opposed to like from a portion size uh, sort of you know comparing it to the, what you guys in the US get you know I think the I kind of watched a documentary once some guy I can't remember his name some guy called something or other um, where he kind of lived off McDonald's for a, for a month to see what he did to his body um, yeah and he wasn't feeling too good at the end of it as you would expect really I mean he probably didn't need to do a, a documentary on that <laughs> to work that out you know <laughs> but he did uh, yeah but but it's yeah I'm sort of watching this documentary I mean some of the some of the portion sizes and the size of the drinks I couldn't believe it I mean I think that I don't know if if, uh, if fizzy drinks are regulated in sort of fast food restaurants over here so you can the largest size can only be a maximum size I'm not sure but yeah but I think I think I think over there in the US your your I think your guys your sort of I mean you're kind of like probably small or medium as equivalent to our our large and there's nothing even approaching sort of super size um, over here even remotely uh, but anyway enough of that let's get back on to the shadow night and as you can see I'm level 10 um, which is quite amazing for me with regards to kind of starting characters particularly starting uh, like tanky kind of non spell casting characters you know it's uh yeah, pretty amazing actually. I, I kind of didn't expect to to get this far, but to be honest with you, I'm having I'm having as much fun as I was in the previous video. Uh, the B, I even got got a title for a series of videos that the the BBSB. Uh, this is episode two. Um, I still plan on uh, uh, Gomfog here being a, being an alt. You know, he's not going to be in the main. I'm, I've still got the whole shaman thing going on. Uh, which I which I really love, but yeah, but I just wanted something a bit different to try, and that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment. Um, we've got we've got this guy basically. Now he's pretty awesome, uh, as you, as you would have seen. I bought myself a circuit of shadow, uh, which I will kind of give to him at some point. He can't use it to level twenty, I don't think. So you know, uh, I haven't transferred it over yet, but uh, I wanted to buy one anyway because I just think it's just one of those things where I think it might be quite just quite a good thing to have if you, if you know what I mean considering it changes in Velius and uh, yeah just uh, just something to buy something to, to keep uh, I'm not sure if the value will go up and up as as um, uh, as time goes by when Velius comes out it changes uh, I'd imagine there's probably tons of them in circulation but also I mean, they might become they might um, become sort of more in demand you know because because Shadow Knights will at some point during uh, Velius lose the XP penalty so you might certainly see a, a lot more of them around uh, and that could well lead to yeah an increase in price for that kind of thing also probably probably lead to an increase in price in Shadow Knight stuff generally because <laughs> I think it's quite reasonably priced at the moment I mean when I was over there I kind of had my had my 4k which might sound a lot but I've been checking prices recently and sort of 4k for, for sort of it started going up quite recently until someone suddenly realised they can get 4K for them, and that seems to be the going price. I mean, the guy I bought from wanted wanted 4.5K, but I kind of, you know, said, "Look, I'll give you four because that seems to be the maximum it's been going for, and and that's it." But yeah, you know, while I was there, like someone was selling an Atramenta shield for like three and a half K, which seemed quite cheap in comparison to um, when I was kind of la last looking at Shadow Knights, anyway. Um, seemed seemed quite yeah seemed quite cheap. I'm sure it was five five k plus for for one of those uh, a while back. Uh, but I, bet, I guess it fluctuates and it? it goes up and down like any market really. I'm always amazed that sort of in in a game people kind of hold out for an extra five hundred plat or something for for an item. It's just all virtual at the end of the day, you know. <laughs> when I kind of buy something and then sell it on, I'm kind of happy, generally happy to just get back what I paid for it. Really, you know, it's uh, yeah. But that's that's how it goes. Anyway, back to the Shadow Knight. As I said, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it's a bit of a bit of a change, uh, as you can see. Uh, since over the last kind of, I guess, f I guess over the weekend, I think probably would would be fair to say, I put a fair amount of time in uh, and got up to level ten. Um, and I wanted to show you before I move on to show you a kind of a camp I'm going to that may or may not be any good. I've got no idea <laughs> uh, what I was doing when, when I was. Uh, at work today during a bit of a bit of a little free period, I had a quick look on the wiki and I was looking for for mobs I could kill around around the area, like local, um, you know, so so I didn't have to sort of travel too far, particularly at the moment. Um, and I and I found something in in Raft Mountains actually, so I'm going to zone into there in a sec and have a look. But yeah, but this but this camp here is just to the right of um, Ogok. As you come out of Ogok, uh, follow the wall, you 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 cross over uh, the river. 
Uh, and then essentially there's there's three camps here of uh, of skeletons and occasionally a zombie will spawn. Now I I was kind of fairly well twinked out, so I came here at level five, you know maybe level six or whatever if you if you're not too twinked out. But yeah, sort of between from level five level ten, you know the, these camps here kind of yeah pretty much uh, zoomed me along. I was really amazed. Uh, I kind of started off I could only really kind of cold this one down initially, but once you get once you get up to level eight or nine. You can kind of go through and, and clear all of them, and by the time you get back to the first one again, yeah, you kind of uh, they're ready to go, mobs are ready to go, and uh, you're ready to go. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, so that's kind of flew me through to level ten, and and, I, and also picked up a ton of uh, bone chips. Oh, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen. Uh, I've got about two hundred and uh, two hundred and twenty bone chips. Um, which is going to keep me going for a long time in pets as well. So if you're if you're an ogre or a troll shadow knight, just essentially because it's kind of local, yeah, come and do this camp about level five or six. Uh, it's great XP up to level ten, um, and you get a ton of bone chips. And I got I got some two-handed axes and stuff as well, which I'll uh, I'll hang on to. But my plan now is to just run through to Raff Mountains and just just check out a camp that I'd kind of I'd read about today. Uh, it might be okay or it might be a waste of time what I'll do is I'll get there and then if it's not a waste of time <laughs> uh, I'll be back hello guys welcome back and uh, yeah I'm sure you can all see where I am I, I kind of came to the um, uh, I came to the, the scarab section here with the very Egyptian sounding names um, I kind of read on uh, I'd read on the wiki that these guys were kind of like level eight or nine or something. So uh, yeah, so me and Zanekan here are going to try try it out, see how it goes. Because if you know, I mean, I can always come back at another level or two higher. But I think if this works out, this could be a pretty good camp for a, for a few levels. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. <laughs> They're warrior mobs, apparently. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. Get up, Bob. Get up. Let's siphon strength first. Yeah, they're warrior mobs apparently, so we will see. We'll see how we get on. They don't don't assist each other too far away. Um, okay, they hit pretty hard, <laughs> a lot harder than the skeletons. But we'll, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Uh, I've got my life tap, obviously, that I can kind of spam a bit for a bit of extra damage. But this is turning out actually pretty good. I mean, I know that I'm tweaked a bit and stuff, so that's probably you know. Probably got there's probably a lot to do with it, but yeah, this looks like it could be a pretty, uh, pretty decent camp. Um, what I've been doing with the life tap essentially is like if uh, I haven't had to use it too much in combat, but out of com when, when I'm um, I say out of combat, I wouldn't be out of combat, would I? What I, what I do is when I'm um, oh, they run as well, which is unusual for a beetle, didn't realize that. Um, what do they drop? Uh, yeah, not much. But that's uh, that's pretty that's pretty cool. God damn it! I'm still spamming the spells and stuff mostly. Uh, I kind of keep forgetting to do it because I'm trying to commentate at the same time. But that's my that's my usual my u spamming the spells and skills to get some uh, yeah to get some stuff going. I'm not sure about wandering NPCs here. I, I guess as an ogre, I probably need to look out for that. That might be a bit dangerous. <laughs> probably from that direction. Um, oh, but this turns out, looks like it's gonna be a good camp. Uh, what are we sort of looking at? Uh, kind of like a, I've got, I've got like one percent each experience from both of those mobs. Um, that's not bad, is it? Really, considering I've got a sixty percent XP penalty. Uh, they're pretty, they're really easy to kill as well. Holy moly! Um, I mean, this might be a good little spot for a, for a period. I, you know what? I didn't check. Um, it's kind of affecting a faction, uh, one negative, one positive. I don't know what those factions are. I'm just, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to hope that I'm not actually mucking anything up, uh, particularly. <laughs> I've, I've got no idea what these factions are. I can't imagine they relate to Shadow Knights in any way. So uh, I won't, I won't worry about it too much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm kind of using um, a Life Tap as, as a bit of a as a bit of uh, what would you say? I think there's only three of them, isn't there? 
Yeah, so now we'll see what the spawn timer is on them. Hopefully, it's not too long. Yeah, I'm using the uh, the life taps. It's a bit like it's like a like, re, like a regen, <laughs> like a crappy fungi essentially. So if, if I get low and too low on health, I'll go and find a low level mob that I know is going to struggle to hit me. Um, I'll pull it. Uh, yeah, basically, I, I won't turn on auto attack, and I'll just keep spamming life tap basically. So just using it as a as a bit of bit of regen. Um, I can uh, I can probably get a couple off every tick so yeah sort of 10 10 hit point regen a tick that's not too bad um, and it's quite cheap to cast as well so it's not really causing any problems with regards to uh, to mana to be honest with you um, the mana's so low it doesn't really take long to, to tick up um, the shadow lights don't get meditate to level 12 which I thought was a bit of a pain in the backside, but there you go. You know that's that's life. What can you do? Um, yeah, so so I'm kind of using the life, my little life tap as a bit of a bit of a regen sort of uh, ticky thing. That seems to be working out okay. Downtime's not too bad. Um, I, I can't what, what I <laughs> kind of probably put points into it really. I mean I I am using bind wound, but I think because. I've, I've still got a bit of twinking going on and that's still having a bit of an effect you know it's um uh yeah I, i'm not really getting below 50 percent to use bind wound a lot so i kind of i don't know if i kind of need to just let myself run down to 50 percent so i can yeah just keep practicing basically <laughs> that might be the thing to do don't use life tap on these mobs and just just sort of let them whittle me down eventually to 50 percent or a bit lower so i can then just use a use a bind wound every now and again but I'm hoping that these guys are kind of just on a, on a normal six minute spawn. Um, whenever I run past them uh, on the shamans, they're always up. Uh, now that's kind of, that's a bit of a concern. Uh, just only because it's not, for an ogre, it's not particularly out of the way and it seems like a really good camp. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why they're not killed more often. Maybe they are, obviously. I mean, I, I, you know, I've kind of, I run through here quite a lot, but not all the time. So I'm kind of hoping that they're not on a really crappy spawn, because that would be uh, that would be a bit crappy. But anyway, yeah, from a Shadow Knight point of view, I got my first set of spells, which was really... He was like, oh, yes, first spells. <laughs> um, nothing super. I mean, obviously got Disease Cloud, which is going to be my, my Ultra Taunt. Um, you know, it's uh, on the forums, they kind of say, uh, good, good, a good tank, good Shadow Knight tanking guide, you know, not uh, point one... Uh, cast disease cloud point two win. That's essentially how it goes, I think, uh, from what from what I've read. I'm sure there's a lot more to it than that. I think you get another siphon spell a bit later on that's quite good aggro as well. Uh, I use siphon strength, uh, you know, whenever I go into combat, just first spell I cast, just a bit of extra strength. As I said, I'm not one of those that are convinced that it does a huge amount, but apart from sort of carrying capacity, but yeah, uh, it's it's worth doing. Um, I was kind of looking at when I started. Um, Gomfog. I was kind of looking at some of the some of the stats on the other on the other races for for Shadow Knights, and obviously Troll Strength and Stamina is pretty good. And I know that Strength and Stamina is not the be all and end all, but I was kind of looking at the Ogre and I thought to myself, "Holy smoke! You know, the other races you know, really need to you really need to put on some gear uh, to even get up to um, you know an Ogre's kind of starting Strength and Stamina." Uh, now, as I said, you know, I'm not convinced either way that. Uh, stats have have a huge effect, but but yeah, that that's still that's still quite a lot, you know, there's still quite a lot to do there to uh, to get up to the same level. Um, intelligence is is a bit crappy, but to be honest with you, I mean, I, I put um, what did I do? Intelligence twenty, uh, sorry, intelligence eighty five. I think I put twenty points into intelligence just so that I wasn't struggling for mana, um, and that seems to be okay at the moment. I mean, to be honest with you, this, my spells cost so little, like disease cloud. A life tap I could just like spam all day really you know it's something I that, that they're that they're that low cost um, this was the first beetle I killed wasn't it so I'm hoping that we're gonna get a spawn reasonably soon because uh, yeah that'd be a bit crap <laughs> if we didn't it's, it's kind of uh, what I'm finding with the with the Shadow Knight and I'm, I'm sure I meant well, I definitely mentioned it previously on um, on a probably a monk video you know I've got no buffs so I don't have to worry about anything you know I mean essentially what the equipment I've got in my hands uh, are basically 
what's going to be doing the damage. You know, that, that's all I need to be worrying about. Um, yeah, and, and, it, and it's just just quite liberating in a way <laughs> you know particularly like in all MMOs you know as someone who I don't know if, I don't know if it, my pet hitting at the back helps much but you know you never know it keeps missing actually um, yeah it's I mean I mean in all MMOs I play kind of spell casters generally or, or a class that will cast spells you know whether they're he, he, sort of a wisdom healing based or an intelligence based kind of damage dealer uh, that's kind of what, what, what I do you know they're, they're the characters that I play um, so it's quite liberating not to have to worry about that kind of thing. I mean, I do have spells, but you know they're not the be all and end all. It's not. I, I I kind of certainly for soloing at the moment. I don't need to cast them. Uh, I'm doing it more out of habit for for like skill raises and stuff. Really, so it's quite interesting. Yeah, to be playing. I'm sorry, I keep moving the mucking about with the camera, <laughs> trying to find a good angle. Um, yeah, it, it's just quite interesting to to play a class. And it, and it is very different to, to how I've played MMOs in the past, you know. And no, I think that's quite a good thing, you know. It just kind of just means I've got to look at things from a different perspective. Um, you know, as I said in a previous video, and I've said it before, but I am hoping to do, uh, you know, to, to sort of group with a class. I think it would be beneficial from a class point of view, you know. It's, cause it's just, it's preferable, you know. I think Shadow Knight's a pretty decent solo as as, as the you know, the melee and tank class is going EverQuest, but yeah. I'm quite interested to see how I perform as a, as a tank, you know, that's uh, you know, been quite interesting. Um, what I was, was sort of, plan before I saw this camp, what I was planning on doing was, was getting my backside over to getting bound sort of near Freeport or somewhere, um, and then basically kind of having a look in, in Befallen, um, and then having a look in probably... Um, probably head over to uh, Nagina again because there's a bit of undead and stuff just in the the entrance way there and and sort of dungeons really I think are going to be a good thing because you know it's going to negate my pen my XP penalty a bit <laughs> which uh, which is it was quite sizable you know 60 percent that, that's pretty uh, pretty crazy apparently that the apparently the um, the the penalty doesn't come off immediately in Kuna, in uh, Velius there's a, there's a there's a period of waiting um, I've got no idea if if that's what the um, if that's what the devs will go for. I'm assuming that they will. <coughs> yeah, but that but that's that's the case. So it's not going to come off straight away if they follow the timeline. Um, yeah, so I think for a while maybe uh, maybe just um, uh, negating the the x the XP penalty with a you know with a Zem or something a pretty decent Zem might be might be the way to go. Um, yeah, but but I but I, as you can see, I mean you know it's it's going pretty well um, and I'm just surprised that I've kind of come this far and, I'm, and I've just kind of still got a bit of a warm fuzzy feeling about about the class it's just something uh, some, something very different um, yeah we'll, we'll see where it goes I've still got the plan to do the whole sort of clicky thing as I mentioned before uh, I just quite like the idea of having lots of items in your bag that you just click and they do different things so that would be that would be pretty awesome um, I guess you know if, if you get to that point I guess things like J boots will be one of the you know the main things it would be quite nice to uh, to maybe camp for those um, although, t although from what I can tell uh, I'm not sure if they're no drop or not but from what I can tell in Velius I think there's a I think Velius adds a merchant that sells um, that sells like a, a J Boots equivalent um, for about 4k I'm not sure if that's true I've kind of read or heard about it somewhere uh, and if that's ca if that's the case, maybe we just we just spend the money. <laughs> I don't know. We we'll have to we we'll have to see. I quite like, like 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 the idea of earning it. You see, that's the that's the thing. But um, yeah, I guess it depends on how much of a pain in the neck it's going to be. It seems to be. And I think the problem is it seems to be that you have got so many all this multi questing thing. Is that what it's called? Multi uh, MQing. Um, I don't like the idea of that particularly. Um, it's one of those things where you kind of I kind of think of myself on on. On a shaman, maybe I'll have to bite the bullet and actually like pay just to get my epic done or something. I don't know, you know, or maybe maybe I can call in you guys so and get a team together and go around trying to do each other's epics. <laughs> maybe when you start a guild, <laughs> no, I, I don't know. <laughs> when you start, a guild, I mean, I, I, I kind of get quite a lot of, as I said before, I get quite a lot of tales in game and stuff about from people who kind of just play this the game the same as me in a similar sort of style. And I have been thinking about, you know, the, the whole guild thing I mean I don't think I'd make a particularly good guild leader to be honest with you and you know it won't be a guild sort of aimed at 
um, sort of you know really raiding and that kind of thing. But it might be an, an it might be a, like a guild just for people who just play the game in a similar way. They log in and it, their gameplay is quite relaxing. You know they pretty much do what they like. Um, but there's just a, a, a small number of people in guild chat to have a chat with if, if you feel like having a chat, you know. A bit like the, um, I've, got, I've, got, I've been looking at the, the guild pages on the forums recently and I quite like the look of the unreliable guild. <laughs> where, yeah, it's kind of a guild for people who you have to drop things at a moment's notice because of uh, child or wife aggro, you know. <laughs> I quite like the uh, quite like the sounds of that. So yeah, maybe something along those lines, but just like a like a channel guild kind of thing. Yeah, not sure, but it's something I have thought about because I do, I do get I do chat in game with people, and from some of them have outright said, you know, and I get the impression from just listening to some of them as well that we we kind of all play the game in a, in a very similar way. Yeah, but that's something that might might, might may or may not happen. I'll uh, I'll let you know. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, this has been um, gone for oh, just before I finish actually I want to mention that in, in the last video uh, with gone fog I kind of hinted at the fact that it was this kind of a Tolkien name and obviously what it's supposed to be it's supposed to be goth mog uh, backwards but I realized I put the T and the H the wrong, wrong way around um, so anyone who's looking at that thinking well that's supposed to be goth mog but you spelled it wrong yeah I did uh, spell it wrong actually uh, but you know I think to be fair it's kind of worked out okay because I think uh, I think gom tog may not have been as as good as gone fog i don't know but anyway yeah i thought I'd, i should mention that because i didn't i didn't make a mistake there anyway guys thanks for watching this has been my, sh my ogre shadow night um this is this is as i said this is just an alt that i'm going to be i have to say i've been playing pretty much exclusively for for a couple of days but uh here's just an alt at the moment you know and, and i'll have some more shamey stuff coming up um yeah thanks for watching and i'll speak to you again soon